There has been a significant and prolonged calming of the winds in the area of the north, um, uh, the, I'm sorry, the Marshall Fire, particularly on the north end of this fire. I'm here in Louisville, uh, standing on the north end of Harper Lake. If you know the area, that's just southeast of the intersection of McCaslin and South Boulder Road. This is about as far north as the fire got today. The neighborhoods that ring Harper Lake to the north, like along Alder, are safe. The damage has been restricted south of the lake. Things have literally quieted down over the last 30 to 60 minutes. And what I mean by that is, the wind has calmed down. We're no longer hear to, hearing the loud booms and bangs that we associate with fire getting into new homes and new garages. And we're no longer hearing a lot of emergency sirens as uh, units are moved around on the north side of the fire. This quiet is excellent news, considering the fact that not every home in that neighborhood south of Washington has been lost. And in fact, we've seen the active fire tamp down and move away from some of the standing homes. We know that several miles to the southeast of here, down towards Avista Hospital, where Nelson Garcia is reporting, that there are still buildings being lost, but things have quieted down significantly on the north side of this fire tonight. The concern, of course, is uh, out towards the Arvada area uh, and toward the Westminster area where there are folks being told that they need to be ready to go or go tonight. But there is, there is some calm and quiet, at least on the north and northwest side of Louisville. Kim and Alex. All right, and Kyle, I look at that lake behind you and you talk about Harper Lake. It's a beautiful area mm. if you've ever been there. And you pointed out the other earlier, there's like these great walking trails and access to boating and, and things that you can understand why people are drawn to that area. Absolutely, and I think, you know, can we talk about the uh, wildfire danger that exists in the wildland urban interface. Fully a third of Coloradans live in those areas where nature and the city or suburbs meet. And this area here in Boulder County is so emblematic of that. You have folks living in quite tightly packed neighborhoods, but yet you just look across the street and it's beautiful views and vistas and open space and everything else. And it's those open areas that the fire ran through like lightning today. So all of a sudden, a fire on the other side of Superior is into the town of Superior, taking hundreds of homes there, burning through well-known shopping areas and moving into the Louisville area so quickly because the way that it flashed through those open spaces and what is a, essentially a harmless brush fire in some of these open areas on the west side of McCaslin, areas where it burned over and we were able to stand there 30 minutes later safely as you know stuff sm smoked about your feet, is a disaster when it gets into the neighborhood. The moment that one house goes up, then all of a sudden you have got a prolonged firefight and a prolonged danger to every other house in that neighborhood. And of course, it wasn't one home. It became dozens of hot spots, hot spots that were still catching other homes on fire for the first time four hours after the initial wave of fire passed.